Hello everyone, welcome to Scardia.com. This is Dr. Sana Khan with the General Surgery course. We have been discussing in the, in the past few lectures about the pancreatic surgery, the pancreatic conditions, inflammatory conditions, and the carcinomatous condition as well. In the last lecture, we have discussed about the acute pancreatitis, and now today we'll be talking about the chronic pancreatitis. Uh, so, let's have a look uh, on the outline of the uh, today's lecture. We'll be talking about uh, different causes for the development of the chronic pancreatitis. Uh, we'll be talking about the types like the acute and the chronic pancreatitis. Acute was discussed already in the previous lecture, but today our main focus will be on chronic pancreatitis. We'll be talking about the causes for the development, like especially the most important causes like the alcohol and obviously the biliary obstruction. We have we will be discussing about the um, you know the causes for the development of the obstruction, like the stone and the stricture. We'll be talking about idiopathic, hereditary, and uh, tropical uh, causes of the pancreatitis as well. We'll be talking about the cystic fibrosis in today's lecture as well. Then uh, we have to discuss about the pathophysiology for their chronic pancreatitis, although uh, there's no known definitive uh, mechanism uh, like, like well-known to be accepted everywhere, but there's some kind of the hypothesis uh, which are uh, being generated uh, to, uh, to explain the process of the development of the chronic pancreatitis. So we will be discussing those hypotheses um, today in our lecture as well, like the oxidative stress, the toxic metabolite, and some kind of uh, typical hypothesis like the SAPE hypothesis will be discussed. We'll be talking about what kind of histopathological findings will be there, uh, which will uh, make sure that this is a case of the chronic pancreatitis. Then we will be discussing about the clinical features and how you are going to differentiate between acute pancreatitis and chronic pancreatitis depending upon the clinical features. We'll be talking about the investigations, uh, like what are the baseline investigations and how you are uh, going to proceed to the invasive investigation and what are the gold standard uh, investigations uh, for the chronic pancreatitis. What role MRI has to play um, for investigating a case of chronic pancreatitis? What role has to be played by the um, you know, uh, endoscopic ultrasound? And what are the typical uh, things that you can uh, look up on x-ray or the ERCP or the MRI for the chronic pancreatitis. Then we'll be talking about the treatment strategies, especially the medical treatment and the surgical treatment. In the medical treatment, we'll be talking about uh, especially the pharmacological measures, the supportive measures, uh, the nutritional support, and what kind of psychosocial therapy you have to provide um, uh, to the to the to the case of the chronic pancreatitis, as these patients have uh, swearly uh, badly affected professional and social life. Then we'll be talking about the surgical options and what are the indications for the surgery in case of the chronic pancreatitis. And then we'll be talking about the treatment options we have available. Like we'll be talking about endoscopic pancreatic sphincterotomy. We'll be talking about uh, the drainage like the percutaneous or the ERCP standing. And we'll be talking about distal and the total pancreatectomy as well. So uh, that, that will be discussed in today's lecture. Uh, we have a lot of other lectures on, web, on our website. You can always go there, access, get access and enjoy our lectures out there. So uh, for the detailed lecture, keep watching scadia.com.